Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. I've got another first impression for you guys. We're gonna be trying out the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Look at that picture. That's what the girl's eyelashes looked like in the video that got me to buy this. So, very excited. I got the waterproof one, of course, because if I don't wear waterproof mascara, my eyelashes do not stay curled. I think the packaging is really pretty. I really like the bottle. This is like my favorite color pink. On here it says Flex Tower Brush. I typically go for a like bristle brush, not a rubbery brush. I'm pretty sure this one's a rubbery brush, but I'm not totally opposed to it. Limitless length, full volume. I got brownish black. I got brownish black. I didn't get black. I got brownish black. Looks like it comes in four colors. Blackest black, cosmic black, the bottle of that one is black, very black, and true brown. I'm confused. But how do they have four colors? And the, co the color I have isn't on their website? Make it make sense. I think it'll still be fine because it is brownish black. So it makes me think it's more black than brown. Long lasting mascara delivers full volume and limitless length. The benefits are impact from every angle. They talk about the exclusive Flex Tower mascara brush. Bends to volumize and extend every single lash from root to tip. I don't know what it means when it says this, but washable mascara formula infused with bamboo extract and fibers for long, full, weightless lashes that don't flake or smudge. Actually, that is an issue I've been having with my other Maybelline one, the, what is it called? Colossal? This thing that I have been using for a hot minute. This has started to like stain under my eyes, which is super annoying. I'm excited to see if this does or does not. Sometimes I hate mascara ads because I'm like, those are so fake. That's all it says. It's a six milliliter bottle, 0.2 fluid ounces, and it's $12.99. For a drugstore mascara, it's definitely on the higher end. That's kind of nothing for how expensive it is. It's probably the bamboo extracts. I think that's all the info on it. Let's open this bad boy up. Good start. God, it's so pretty. I like that the lettering is raised because then the only thing that's going to like fade off or rub off is this part. Here we've got the spoolie. Not typically what I go for anymore. Actually, I used to get these kinds of mascaras all the time. Definitely focus more on lengthening. I feel like it's hard to get fullness out of them, but we'll see. This also lo like looks black. It looks a little brown. I don't even know if you guys can see the brown. It is barely, sorry, I literally cannot hold this straight. I have no strength in my arms. I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see better. Of course, I need to start by curling my lashes. All right, let's try this out. Oh, it gets really thick at the end. My lashes are kind of sparse right now, but I've actually been able to get them to look pretty good, but they are missing a few bits. Okay, so far I like it. It does a really good job of keeping them separate. And the color's literally totally fine. Now that looks fantastic. They look really nice and soft. Other eye. Definitely makes them look long right away. I wonder how long it's gonna take for me to feel like they're very full. But right now I'm liking where it's at. I'm going to let that first layer dry. While that dries, I'm just going to kind of finish up with my makeup. I'm actually gonna go in with my new Revolution highlighter. I have been wanting a white highlighter so bad and I found this one. How pretty is that? Moment of truth. Cause I wanted like a silvery, literally like silvery white one that wasn't freaking blue. I want a blue reflect. I just wanted like silver white. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so pretty. Wow, it's pigmented. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild nude pencil liner in the majority of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take my NYX cream eyeliner and I'm doing this just in my inner corner lower lash line. Ooh, I really like how that looks actually. Should use the white on my inner corner. Oh my gosh, I think the white is gonna be my new thing for my inner corner. This is so pretty. I'm literally just highlighting everything at this point. <laughs> Let's go in with layer number two. I would normally curl my lashes in between this, but I'm not going to. Okay, so this is adding a lot more volume now. Okay, look at the difference between one coat and two coats. 
this is this is getting good the reason this is so good is because it keeps them so separate and coats every lash so nicely so every time you put another coating on it still keeps the lashes separate but just makes the coating around it thicker because normally when you go in and start applying that second coat they start to clump together and so when they clump together and you go in and you like physically separate them they're not like fully coated on all sides i hope that makes sense i hope what i'm saying is making sense here all right let's do the other eye like of course they're clumping together a little bit okay you know what this is my bad i started to mess up on this eye and the reason i did is because i went like side to side and i was trying to fix fix it with the side and that pushed them together more whereas if i was just going up like the directions say yes i did read the directions just to see just to see always read manufacturer's instructions i just live by that rule as a cosmetologist for best results, hold flexible brush against lashes and extend from root to tip repeatedly until desired volume and length are achieved. It says to just go from root to tip, and I did not follow that, so I messed it up. I'm gonna go in and do my lips while this layer dries. I'm gonna take this ColourPop lip liner in shade BFF. And I'm gonna take my Sexy Mother Pucker in Nude Star. It's a lip plumping gloss. I love that shade so much. I'm going to take my little eyelash comb and comb through this eye only, just slightly. I'm going to give my lashes another curl. I'm being super, super gentle now that I have mascara on because, of course, I want to make sure I'm not damaging my natural lashes and, like, crimping them too hard while they have it on and they break or, I don't know, whatever could happen. Okay, let's do one more layer. They're, like, very stiff. Okay, and then I'm going to touch the tip. Wow, you can like clearly see where I effed up my eyelashes there and where the gap is, great. Okay, wow, that looks so incredible. I literally cannot believe how good that looks. It is 10 o'clock now. It does say long lasting, no smudging, anything like that. So I will definitely be checking in later to see how this held up. So, so far, definitely a love from me. I am just running around, hanging out with some friends today, apartment shopping. So nothing too crazy, but it is pretty hot. So hopefully I don't sweat it off. I will see you guys in a few hours. So it's now six o'clock, so it's been eight hours. I hope this lighting is okay and you can see me. I normally don't film at this time and my room at this time has very different lighting. I am gonna zoom you in here a little bit just so you can see better. Like they definitely still look very good. I haven't curled them, I haven't done anything and I feel like they look pretty much exactly the same. I'm also pretty impressed with my under eyes. It doesn't look like there is too much smudging or anything like that. Yeah, I honestly think it looks just as incredible as when I first applied it. I have been out in the sun a lot today. I haven't gotten in the water with it, so I guess I'm not actually sure if it's waterproof or not. I think that's kind of it for right now. Uh, the next check-in I do is probably going to be the last one. We'll see you guys in a little bit. It is now 10.30, so it's been a total of 12 hours, and I think this looks great, no complaints. I will zoom you in a little. Yeah, I think overall, everything is looking really good. Nothing under my eyes, the curl, I literally didn't curl them at all. I mean, yeah, I think they honestly still look incredible. Pretty much just as good as when I put it on, which is great, 10 hours with this curl is awesome. I feel like I haven't noticed any flaking, anything like that. So, because it has stayed on so well, it makes me question how easy it will be to take off. So I do wanna try that for you guys. We got my cotton rounds and my micellar water. I always like to hold it over, let it kind of break down the makeup a little bit. So there might be a move in place and it might be happening very soon. I will definitely have more solid information next week. Okay, so just go in. Doesn't look like I got a ton off. I like doused it with micellar water this time. Let's try again. Let's try that again. I didn't wait very long that time, but I'm impatient. It's like not really removing anything. Oop, I'm losing a couple lashes you can see here. Also, I'm noticing it's like flaking. It's not really turning this black. It's kind of like flaking off. I'm just very gently rubbing here, trying to get it off. Okay, so even with this, it still hasn't all come out. So I'm gonna resort to the big guns. 
here I have the big guns. This usually breaks up the product, so we'll see how it does now. I can like feel it. This is gonna be the hard part of this mascara, isn't it? Anything that took that off there. We lost a few lashes, but I think we got it all off. Now I feel like I desperately need my lash conditioner. That difference is really crazy. All right, let me try getting off the other eye and see how long this takes. Okay, so I guess my one complaint as of right now is that it might ruin my natural lashes because it is really hard to get off. I do find it interesting that it flakes off. So I think for that reason, it really won't ever stain my under eyes, which is incredible. I'm just gonna have to figure out a better way to get it off. But so far, I absolutely love it. Of course, if throughout the week I have any updated thoughts, I will leave them in the description bar below. So that is gonna be all for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and leave me a like because it really helps me out. See you guys in the next one.